Well, there may soon be a new way to get around the city of Des Moines electric scooters. Yeah, it's a trend across the country right now and Des Moines Area Regional Transit Authority representatives are hoping to bring this to the Des Moines Metro. The idea is in its early stages, but KCCI's Tizia Musinga found a lot of people are on board. That's right, there's no word on how e-scooters would operate here, but officials are watching how they are used in other cities so that they can plan ahead and make this a reality in Des Moines. It's another way to get around the city, and it's becoming a trend across the country. I love it. I think it's a great idea. We've seen them used in Milwaukee, Kansas City, and Sacramento. Now there's some talk that these e-scooters may be coming to Des Moines. I think it's fantastic. I think there's it's a great thing to have mobility in the city for everyone. Amanda Wonky, spokesperson for DART, says the idea of bringing one of these to the city is in its early stages. But officials are keeping a close eye and taking notes from other cities to see if this is what Des Moines needs in case people want to use something other than what's already available, like these rental bikes. They can use the bus when they want to. They can use Uber when it's a good fit and possibly other options. We already have B-Cycle, the bike share could be e-scooters in the future. We need to think about how all of our transportation options fit together. Officials involved are still trying to figure out how many scooters Des Moines would need and what safety concerns need to be addressed before this idea moves forward. And safety is definitely Lloyd Trowell's main concern. The traffic with the pedestrian, I think there's some legal issues that might incur if somebody hits you with one of those things and who's who's going to pay for that. There's no word on how e-scooters would work for now, but in other cities, you can rent scooters in a designated area by paying per minute, and you can do this through an app on your cell phone. Those are a few of the things we we do know, but exactly where they'd be, what what the rules and regulations would be, what constraints we want. Those are the things we're in the middle of exploring so that we can determine if and how it would be a good fit for us. Wonky tells me there's no date set to officially launch these scooters, but they want to hear more from the public, their concerns and any of their opinions. And we can tell you how if you go on our website at KCCI.com. Stacy.